same sum that we did in the last video in this video we are going to see the alternative simple method for this sum the question is we should divide 15.7 by 20 okay so uh, here i am going to divide this 15.7 by 20 so we can't get 15.7 in 20 the table so the point is we should remove this uh, point from this 15.7 so what i am going to do is i am going to keep a point in the uh, quotient okay so that if i kept a point here i can easily remove this point from this 15.7 so okay from this step i am going to consider this as 157 because i have kept a point here so i am going to consider this as 157 okay so in 20th table we should recognize that if we are having this 15 uh, uh, that is 157 so we are not having 157 here so i am going to take a lesser number that is uh, lesser number than 157 okay so i am going to pick this 140 so 27 is 140 I am not considering this as 15.7 from this step I am considering this as 157 so I am going to uh, less 140 from 157 so if I uh, reduce 140 from 157 we will be getting 17 so already we are having a point here so we can add a 0 to it so the next step I am going to consider that if there is any 170 in the uh, 20th table. We are not having 170. So I am going to take this. 28 are 160. So 28 are 160. So if I reduce 160 from 170 we will be getting 10. We can add 0 here because, because 10 is not available in the 20th table. So, I am going to add a 0 here because we are having a point here. So, so we can add a, a 0, more 0 in this sum. Okay. So, next I am going to check whether we are having 100 in this 20th table. Yes, we are having 100 in this 20th table. That is 25 is 100. Okay. So, 25 is 100. So, if we cancel 100 from 100, we will be getting 0. So, the answer is, so if we divide 157, sorry, 15.7 from by 20, we will be getting 0 0.785. So, the answer is 0 0.785. Thanks for watching.